Hey guys, how are you doing? I got a new thing to show you, new tool in my toolbox. Actually I prefer, I rather call them tools in the toolbox rather than pieces of collection because for me it's not just the collector pieces, I, I like them as tools, I use them as tools, at least most of them. And uh, I'll just give you something to look at for now, you've seen those. And I want to wish everybody happy National Knife Day and uh, why not celebrate a knife day by becoming a member of knife rides, no? It's never a bad time to plug knife rides in because they really try to do what's what's nobody else doing, fights for our knife rides. I want to show you a couple new pieces I got, I don't really do unboxing, so got a pretty good, good deal on Amazon for the K-Bar Cutlass Machete, the TIG one. This is a pretty cool machete, this is a beast. This is that one, I, I've pimped one before, I customized one for a customer a while back. This is that cool multi-grind, there's like two hollow grinds and the secondary bevel that uh, come out to pretty sweet, pretty sweet thin edge and it's actually razor sharp, very very razor sharp. This is what you get for a good machete, you know, you don't have to do nothing with the edge, you just get it and it's ready to ready to work tool. Very, very good machete. I really like this one. Nice and pointy up front. Uh, simple handle but comfortable. Good, nice bulb on the end. This is a good working tool. Got it uh, for about, I think, $36. It was open box, uh, you know, item and uh, it's great. It's perfectly new condition. Got the gift from yesterday from my friend Tough Thumbs, Jeff. Jeff sent me some scale for another friend and he threw in this in the box. His small little cool kind of like a Kuridashi knife very very cool little keychain I like that it's it's pretty cool no? you don't see that often send some stickers I think I'll put one on my car and uh, I got the knife today finally it was quite a while of wait I don't know why but uh, this is one of the knives that I've always drooled about I always ever since he Mike came out with a couple different versions over the years and every single one was stunning and there were actually some really good deals on them here and then. He had ec Econo version that was that had my carta scales. And uh, you see I'm talking about Mike Snoddy. And I snatched one of the 20, it's supposed to be 20, Elite, uh, Executive Elite Friction Folders. And let me tell you guys, this is one hell of a cool knife. Just gorgeous, gorgeous knife. Chad Mike, Chad, Chad Nichols, Chad Ni uh, Nichols, Damascus, stainless steel Damascus, with very cool powder. I'm not crazy about Damascus. I'm I wouldn't use Damascus on my knives, only if it's like uh, you know like small little show pieces like I did for the charity. But uh, they're definitely gorgeous. I always admire Damascus. It's beautiful blade, beautiful steel. It's just not something that is needed or what I would put on the working tool. But on something like this. It's just incredible. And this is really cool Damascus. This, I think, a regular hand forged Damascus is not that machine made with the, you know, make made up ornaments in the steel. This is actual, you know, blacksmith doing Damascus. And uh, it's really cool pattern. Really deep, really deep edge. You can definitely feel feel that that standing off, standing up steel. Very nice polish on the t on on the shiny portions, and very dark finish on the dark portions. Check it out; it's just beautiful, very very stunning Damascus, and it has uh, very nice, super thin, very nice knife. You know, like very compact knife, and very small knife, which I like because it's not too small, but it's not too big. This is like the perfect size. And funny enough, the handle is perfectly made for my hand. It just to the millimeter, to the last millimeter, it fits my hand perfect. It's a sandblasted titanium, sandblasted or bead blasted. I think it's sandblasted anodized titanium. It has a purple tint, tint to it, and uh, grayish purple. Also, the titanium stand uh, backspacer with kind of like a gear pattern and golden screws on the end heat anodized screws on the front side this is the chain chain bolt type of pivots I might change this because I might go for this look on both sides I think these are probably 3 16th pivots I should have some hopefully to change them just so I have the same screws 
on both sides because I think that it would look nicer than this chain bolt in this case and uh, you know kind of signature it's not these dollar signs which is pretty badass nice and thin titanium it's super light very very light only thing what I would change if I could is I would do kind of like a full flat grind on this because I think it would look nicer then uh, this is pretty steep uh, hollow grind came out came pretty sharp let me see if I have paper I have paper here it's it's okay sharp but it definitely can get some work on the edge to make it a little better it cuts paper I don't think it will cut the thinner paper oh, actually it does but uh, it had li it has a little burr on the edge so but nothing that couple minutes of strapping or couple seconds of strapping won't touch up but overall beautiful beautiful blade I'll definitely be using this and also Mike has that feature what Kylie Kylie Harris came up with CKC knives let me see if it's one eighth of an inch I would guess oh, actually one eighth doesn't fit so it will have to be something little smaller you can put the pin through one of either of these holes and uh, it will you know kind of lock the blade in a fixed blade position which is pretty cool I like that you've seen me do that also on one or two of my knives couple of the friction folders I did yeah the one eight doesn't fit so it's probably just slightly smaller than one eight but overall beautiful beautiful knife uh, not cheap but also not that crazy expensive for custom I think $300 isn't all that crazy for a big big name for you know famous knife maker regular custom knife you know this uh, hand ground steel hand ground bevels probably machine or CNC handles put together you know Mike is I admire Mike I might not like it a persona he plays on YouTube that uh, gangster stuff but I highly highly admire his skills his work and he's a good guy you see it he shares a lot of videos a lot of information a lot of knowledge and uh, he's a great guy I'll gladly support person like that so let me know what you think guys I think it's really cool looking blade also little update I am going to Floyd Bennett tomorrow uh, BK blades said he's gonna come too I don't know if anybody else will come I will be there whole day will be you know barbecuing hanging out probably playing with some knives probably go fishing maybe even blow up the boat and go on the sea so we'll be there whole day tough times was gonna come but he can't uh, his car didn't get fixed in time so if anybody wants to come anybody is welcome so come by you know spend a little time with us uh, hang out and it's gonna be fun so hope you enjoyed it guys have a great weekend take care stay safe and remember don't cut yourself.